guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to do etcd restore operation so we are going to restore the etcd database from a backup but before that as you can see on my screen there's a hashicorp certified terraform associate practice exam so if any of you guys are planning to take the terraform associate exam in near future there's a series of practice tests on udemy this series especially which is available and this is amazing i mean if you see the uh the stars right if you see it it has got rating of 4.4 right amazing in itself so if you use my coupon code which is there in the description uh, there are two coupon codes basically there's one aws underscore hands underscore on so the first 10 users who use that will get this course for i mean completely free of course so as you can see the price is 1280 but the first 10 users to use that code will get this course completely or this practice test there are like four practice tests completely free and then there's another uh, coupon code which is aws underscore hands underscore on underscore 360 and if you guys use that which is uh, basically available for next five days so you get this course for just 360 rupees right so i mean just don't wait just hurry up and go ahead and if you're planning to take this certification which is actually very good just go ahead and use the coupon codes to get this uh, amazing series of tests. I mean, if you just read the uh, the feedback, I mean, people have just given it like four stars, five stars, right? So this is amazing. So just go ahead and use the coupon code and just register for your uh, exam and take these tests, right? All right. So now we'll go to the terminal and start our etcd restore operation. All right, so right now I'm in my terminal and I'm on my cube master node and we are going to do the restore operation from the cube master. And just for God's sake, I mean, just hope that you don't get the cube etcd restore question in exam because if this goes south, your complete cluster will go down. I mean, if you do anything wrong over there because I have been practicing it like throughout the day and I got it wrong like almost every time until I got it right. So there, there will be unforeseen problems. You would actually not, I mean, ex expect those problems, which you, I mean, which I saw. So probably I was doing it wrong and I would show the way I was doing it, right? I mean, I was not following the, what you call say, the best practice to do the etcd restore. I was just doing it for the demo sake. And I'll show you the way we, I mean, we are going to do in this video. But in exam, there are 99% of chances that you wouldn't get the etcd restore operation to do perform you would normally get the etcd backup so you would get question to backup an etcd uh, database but you will not get i mean like almost like 99 percent you will not get the question to restore the operation right to, to, to restore the database all right so first i need to do a couple of things just need to check so kubectl get pods just get and now i'm going to do a describe because we'll be needing some information from this particular cube uh, etcd cluster so let's just do a describe so let's just come up here so we'll probably be needing the data directory We'll be setting up a new data directory right so we'll not be using the existing one we'll be setting up a new data directory and then we'll put a new parameter also which is initial cluster token right so I mean, let, me clear, let me clear the screen okay so what next so i mean like in the last video when we did the backup as you see the command was pretty long right so i've actually have these commands in my history right so let me just get my history and there it is so this is the command to take the backup so i'll take a new backup right so i'll just go and the command you see i'm just specifying the api version then the etcd control uh, utility specifying the endpoint where my etcd is running the port on which the etcd listens and then i'm providing the authorization and authentication information and the command itself snapshot save and then, then i'm telling it the location which is new backup.tb right so let's hit enter all right so new backup is created or in fact i mean probably will not do this uh, let me just get rid of this um, my 
if an RF probably I mean a more practical way I want to show you so let me just get rid of this new backup right so let me clear the screen first let me get kubectl get pods so what all I have all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run pod one nginx and I'm going to run another pod right so I've created two pods let's do kubectl pods all right so they're almost I mean they'll come up all right so they're running now cool so now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take the backup so that we have the backup of all these four pods right so yeah that we'll run the same command and it will take the backup <clears throat> cool let me clear the screen now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete pod pod one and pod two uh, so the best practice to restore etcd uh, cluster or etcd data database basically specifies that you need to stop your cube api server you need to stop your uh, etcd cluster itself and i mean the best as per the best, best practice you also need to stop your all your schedulers your controllers right but we are not going to do that so that is why I was running into issues because I was not doing that. And since this is just a demo, I wouldn't do this. I mean, I wouldn't do that even now. All right, so I'm not going to stop my queue API server or that CD cluster itself. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in my history since I have that command to do the database restore. Just, and there it is. So again, you can see I'm specifying the API version, etcd controls, snapshot restore. So this is the command and then the location from where I want to restore, right? Then I'm passing a data directory option. So I'll be using varlib my etcd. So as you saw in the, saw in the described that the data directory was varlib etcd, but we are going to use the new data directory, right? And then simple, authorization and authentication information like certs and keys then i'm giving it the name so if you go up and see this output the name of the where is it the name the name parameter the cube master so i'm using the same name over here cube master and then initial cluster so all this information initial cluster i'm getting from the file above initial advertise peer we're getting it from the file above. The only new option we are passing is initial cluster token. So I'll say Q master. I'll just give it a number Q master one, right? So now let's perform the restore operation and you need to cross your fingers when you're performing this operation because I mean, things can go really south when you do this, right? So just hope for the best that this works. Uh, I mean, for me, it worked like 60, 40. So, all right, so let's do that. Oh, my HCD already exists. Okay, so I was just playing around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. Right, so let's say instead of my HCD, we'll do HCD 10, right? Now let's do the restore operation. All right, so restore is complete, but this will not take effect unless you go and modify your manifest file of the etcd, uh, what you say, pod. And all these pods are running as static pods. So you will find those files in etc, Kubernetes, manifests, and etcd.yaml file, which I'm looking for, all right? So I need to put two information in this file. The first one is the initial cluster token, which is cube in cube master one. 
and the new data directory which is uh, where lib at cd10 right so let's edit this file go to the data directory go to the end of the file and it was at cd10 and then initial cluster will be equal to cube master one Let's correct the format all right and then you need to come down so it's not yet done you need to copy this and come down over here so volume mounts so you need to update these volume mounts as well right so it's not done until you update these so it's cd10 and there's one more place where you need to put this so host path right all right this looks good so as soon as you save this the etcd i mean the etcd pod will be reformed it will be restarted with this new configuration so let's do this all right so this is going to take a couple of minutes uh, to actually be operational the cube api server right so i'll pause the video and come back once this is operational all right so it has been a couple of minutes so now let's check kubectl get pod so first we'll check the system pods and see if they are all up so you can see they are almost running so only cube controller manager is still not ready but it will be ready in some time and scheduler so sometime you would see i mean the issue which i'm i was running in is that my controller manager and my cube master would go just in crash loop right the error which you see crash loop back so that was happening because when i was doing the etcd i mean when my etcd pod was trying to start it was i mean throwing me some docker errors so docker was actually not able to uh, replace my container with a new container because it was complaining about the same i mean name has been used by the container id xyz something like that right so in that case what you need to do is you need to do a service restart of your docker and then probably your etcd master and scheduler and my controller manager they would come up right so all right so they are all up you can see all my nodes are up and now let's if we check the kubectl get pods so you can see i have pod 1 and pod 2 running so as you remember i deleted i mean if you check the history and let's so you can see we deleted pod 1 and pod 2 over here right but since we have restored from the backup which actually had the information about pod 1 and pod 2 we got pod 1 and pod 2 back all right so this is all i wanted to show you in this video okay guys so this is it for this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and please don't forget to use the coupon code in the description to get the terraform associate practice test those tests are just amazing right all right so thank you for watching and keep rocking